feeling safe and I be going for the win. Remember back when they was doubting on the kid. Uh, now they tuned in cause my game too legit. Stay down, remain humble and I made it work. Uh, crazy how I came out so clean from the dirt. Uh, we was using candles on the nights, the lights ain't work. Uh, we ain't never going back to that and that I merch. Uh, turn your back on me, the worst mistake you ever make. Uh, keep my grass cut, gotta watch out for the snakes. Uh, if it's on my plate, best believe it's getting ate. I'm falling like I'm Kobe 33 before the 8. Uh, I just want the rings and the medals and the trophies. Uh, I want the Kardashians and Jenna so I know me. I want to take an Uber to the hills to visit Chloe. I want the four seats because I'm tired of the no sleep. When the game on the line, you can't fold and you can't bend. Uh, y'all be playing it safe and I be going for the win. Remember back when they was doubting on the kid. Uh, now they tuned in because my game too legit. I feel like I'm Scotty Pippen. Putting on the work, but they don't give me no recognition. Basically, the league's MVP, but the peers miss him. I'm the most valuable, but sometimes they tend to forget it. I live my life on the edge, but my back against the wall. I make sure my shoes lace, cause who gon' catch me if I fall against the odds? But I'ma beat them all. I used to have a lot of friends. I never thought my day one circle be this small, but who needs love if it's fake love? I'm trying to shine like the diamonds on my glove. Get in my way, and you gon' feel it just like Mike's glove. I'm trying to go. From burnt rugs to the red rugs, that's facts. When the game on the line, you can't fold and you can't bend. Uh, y'all be playing it safe and I be going for the win. Remember back when they was doubting on the kid. Uh, now they tuned in because my game too legit. Who gon' stop me now? I'm on a roll, let me know. Who gon' stop me now? Uh, who gon' stop me now? Uh, who gon' stop me now? I'm on the roll, let me know. Who gon' stop me now? Gang, gang. When the game on the line, you can't fold and you can't bend. Uh, Welcome to the 4A State Soccer Tournament. This broadcast is going to be brought to you by Natural State Sports. My name is Jay Call, and I'm going to be your play-by-play com- commentator. And this is going to be my color commentator, Houston Chavis. Hey, how's it going, guys? I'm glad uh, we're very excited to be bringing you this ball game between the Star City Bulldogs and the Berryville Bobcats. It should be an exciting matchup, and we're... Very excited to be on the campus of Mills University Study High School today as they host this uh, this final of four games of this 4A state tournament. Should be a competitive game, and I just want to wish a good luck to all the players and coaches who have worked hard to get here. The Star City Bulldogs are 4-1-2 and two in conference play, and they are led by head coach Emily Snyder. The Berryville Bobcats are 4-1-1 one, one in, in, in conference play. And so it, sh- it should be a pretty tight matchup. It has similar conference records. It's uh, Both teams look, uh, look to be pretty even in play. So it's going to be an exciting start here, and we're about to get this underway. It looks like the Bulldogs are going to be running a 4-4-2 formation where it looks like the Bobcats might be running a 1-5-4. Or no, it looks like they might have five. Now they're running a 4 3 one, 2 Let's see how it plays out. We're going to play playing 40 minutes here, Jake, aren't we? Yes, 40 minute first half, 40 minute second half. Okay. Not sure what the holdup is. Should be getting underway here in just a second. Want to thank everybody for joining this broadcast brought to you by Natural State Sports. We really appreciate it. Uh, really excited to be calling this for this this for a state tournament game. It's going to be the fourth one we've called here today. This should be a good game. I can hear people in the stands already getting loud and it hasn't been kicked off yet. No, there's there's a decent sized crowd. I think that might be might be due to. Uh, People might be getting off work now. It's getting later into the afternoon. It's about to be 4 o'clock, and the rain is eased up as well, and we've got some decent-sized crowds here. And we're off. Get this game underway, and it's going to start off with the Bulldogs. Just playing possession, playing it nice and slow. That was a nice tackle right there from from the Bulldogs. Good 
going to shield him out and have that a throw in for the Bulldogs. That's going to be a shot on goal right there. Good man, job. That was a rip outside by the 20, man. That's a heck of a shot to keep on goal. That was a good job by the goalkeeper for the Bulldogs to keep that one out. Another rip. Yeah. He is, and that oh, one's in. Heck of a shot, man. That one is going to be in from the Bobcats. Whew, that kid's got a cannon. That was that was a rip right there. That was all the way back at what looked like the 35, and that was that was a ripsky, son. We're we're there's 39, uh, 39 3 on the clock. So within the first minute of play, the Bobcats have already taken the lead. Man, you're gonna have to keep pressure on that guy if you want to win this game. Already they. So they're going to restart the kickoff. Looks like the Bobcats getting a little too eager to get back at it. The Bobcats have already shown that they're not afraid to strike from distance. So it should be an interesting matchup. Man, that was two just deep shots. He's got a they got a sniper on their team. Oh, and we might have a through ball here. It's going to be the Bobcats goalkeeper who gets control of it. Looks like he's going to roll this one out. Nope, he's going to kick it away. Ooh, nice touch. Way to drop it back, control, play possession. Bobcats swinging it out right. Oh, good touch. See if anybody can get there, and the goalkeeper for the Bulldogs is going to pick it up and boot it away. It's a nice kick. Flip the field. Good one touch. Ooh, opposition gets the ball. Ooh, Ooh, that was a nice touch. Yeah. Oh, and they're not going to be able to save it from going out of bounds. And so it's going to be a bulldog throw in. Big throw in down the field. And the Bobcats are going to get possession back. I really like how they're swinging it around right now. They're not, you know, it looks like they're not too nervous. They've settled down. They're making good passes. They're making their runs. Nice cross. Oh, Ooh. that was a close header right there. He was he was a couple inches away from getting that in the goal. Man, that delivery was beautiful. He couldn't have put that in a better spot in the box. Keep him possession. They're making some nice passes so far in this so far in this match. And it's going to be picked up by the Bobcats goalkeeper.
Good movement from the Bobcats. They're going to cross the field with it. I like that look right there, Jake. <laughs> that was a deep kick right there. I'm not sure if that was supposed to be a pass, but it's going to fall into the hands of the Bulldogs goalkeeper. Bobcats maintain possession. Ooh. He's got some fancy footwork. Yeah, he feels very comfortable with the ball at his feet. This one's going to go off the head of a Bulldog, and it's going to go out of bounds. That's going to lead to a Bobcat corner kick. So let's see if, see if they can't make – not sure. Oh, telling the coaching staff for the Bobcats to – Come back there too far up. See if they can't get another strike here. Corner kicks across. That was pretty good placement. Unable to do anything with it, but the Bobcats are going to remain in possession of the ball. Strike, and it gets blocked away, I think, by a, uh, by a Bulldog, so it's going to lead to another corner kick for the Bobcats. You know, I wasn't upset with that shot right there. It seemed like he had a good look, good stop, and he tried to take – he let it rip, and it turned out to be a corner kick. So, let's see if they can make something happen here. Here comes the delivery. Up and over, and it's going to be headed out by a Bulldog. Good play right there to maintain the outside. Is he going to send it? Oh, Almost got through the two defenders, but the Bulldog, uh, the Bulldogs weren't able to catch up to it. The Bulldogs just kick it out of bounds, trying to get back on defense. Bobcat throw in. They're going to go for a strike here. Woo, that was... That was that was top 90. That, that was, was upper 90 <laughs> from outside the box, curving in. That shot couldn't have looked any better. <laughs> that was a great job by the Bulldogs goalkeeper to keep that one out because that was a nice, nice shot. That was hats off to him. Great goalkeeping. Well, Jake, one thing that I think I've noticed so far in this game, the Bobcats are not scared to shoot. You know, and I, I, I don't think you can, can be, you can't be too scared to shoot. You can't wait for the perfect, pa uh, perfect shot every single time around, or else you're gonna, you're, you're not gonna get enough shots on, uh, on goal, and you're not gonna, it, it w just won't come to you. Sometimes you just gotta let it rip and, and see what happens. And I think it helps open up other opportunities later on in the game. I agree with you. And the Bobcats goalkeeper is gonna get a good, ki good kick on it. Man, that number 11 is footwork. <laughs> Through ball down the sideline. See if the Bobcats can get to it. They can't catch up to it. So it's going to go out of bounds for a goal kick for the, for the Bulldogs. And it goes out of bounds. And the Bulldogs to throw it in. Down the sideline. And the Bulldogs might have a shot here. Nice pass over the middle. Oh, he turned around and tried to whip it in there. But it's going to be right of the net. And it's going to be a goal kick for the Bobcats. Bobcats have possession, trying to move it up, uh, move it up the pitch. 
he takes a shot at it, but it's going to be just right of the net and out of bounds. It's going to be a goal kick for the Bulldogs. Man, he got some power behind that shot. Just unfortunately, he couldn't put it on goal. Appreciate you, David and e Evelyn, tuning into this broadcast here for us. We're really excited to bring you this 4A state tournament game. Bobcats maintaining possession, swinging it around. Looks like they might have a look here. Again, great goalkeeping right there to keep that cross from getting any further. I think if the goalkeeper would have missed that one right there, I think they had a Bobcat following it up that was going to knock that one in. Yeah, they had a guy right there swinging around the backside. It was luckily he got his hands on it. Trying to switch the field there, defender in the way. Big kick right there. Man, they're playing textbook FIFA, though. I love this. <laughs> they're swinging the ball around, keeping the short passes, playing the long game. I mean, they're just they're playing it right right now. The Bobcats, their strategy they're doing, it's working, and that's why they're up 1-0 right now. Something tells me when you get home tonight, you're going to boot up the Xbox and play a little FIFA. I think we might boot it up tonight. <laughs> Fighting for possession right now. And he takes Take a swing. Oh, he he swung that leg at it, but it's going to go right in the net and out of bounds for a goal kick for the Bulldogs. I'm impressed with him getting that shot off. He had a lot of pressure on him. He turned, made the right look. And, I mean, it was perfect play. Just didn't happen to be on target. I haven't had a problem with any of the shots that they've they've taken so far in this ball game I, uh, or in this match. I don't think they've. I don't think they've taken one too early or too late. It seems like they're they're taking the shot when they need to take the shot, and sooner or later one of them's going to go in. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. More shots on goal, better chance you have to win. It's going to be kicked by the Bobcats goalkeeper out of bounds, and it's going to be the Bulldogs to throw it in. Well, come on, Bulldogs. What do you got here? Let's see. Got pressure on his back. Bobcats throw in. Now they're pushing it up. That was a that was a powerful kick right there. Luckily the goalkeeper for the Bulldogs was there in time to stop it. They are taking 40-yard shots right now. That's taking them way out there. Good play to bring it down, get it back to your defense. Bobcats might have something cooking here. Oh, they lose control of it off the header, and it's going to go out of bounds. Bulldogs will throw it in. He couldn't quite just keep the trap right there. Out of bounds off the Bulldogs this time. Throwing it in is going to be the Bobcats. He tries to cross it over the middle. 
And now the Bulldogs are trying to push it up the pitch. Oh, good pass. Just a little bit too much. The Bobcats goalkeeper is hanging out pretty far uh, towards the edge of, of the box. And so that's – and if you kick it too hard, he's going to be there in time to kick it away. Jake, what's your takeaways on this game so far? So far, it seems like this, uh, the speed and the passing ability of the Bobcats is, is really uh, – it seems like so far it's been the uh, – the deciding factor in this ball in this match for the Bobcats, it's uh, they le they lead it 1-0, and I think that's the reason. I think the Bulldogs are playing great defense so far, just to keep them from, and the goalkeeper for the Bulldogs are playing are playing very well, just to keep this score at, at 1-0. Their defense, I think, is doing an incredible job. They're just having a little bit of trouble transitioning that up to the forward game. Um, I, I'm really liking so far that the Bulldogs, I mean the Bobcats. Their possession, their passes, they're just making all the right calls at the right time. Um, but if the Bulldogs can get this turned around, they might still, you know, there's a lot of ball game left. They still have a chance. There's a shot, and it's going to go just right of the net and go out of bounds for a goal kick, a goal kick for the Bulldogs. That was still another great look. For the Bobcats, the Bobcats, like uh, like you were saying, the Bobcats are dominating time time of possession right now. It feels like, and the Bulldogs are going to have to uh, they're going to have to get some of that time back if they want to get on the board. I don't think I've seen the ball touch the goalie's hand of the Bobcats yet. I it, it, well, he's touched it, maybe not the hands. He's kicked the ball quite a few times. Right, right over those through balls. Uh -huh. Right, right. Ooh, and the Bobcats are going to get there in time, save it from going out of bounds. Oh, he might be set up for a nice cross here. Let's see what he does. Keep him in possession. Swinging it around, playing smart soccer. I remember back in my day when we played, we played Springdale Harbor, and they were so good about just swinging it around your net. You couldn't get the ball. They would wear you out. And it was just mentally exhausting not being able to get the ball on their half. No, it's got to be frustrating when, when one team has possession for so long. It's got to be mentally tiring. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's got to be extremely frustrating for sure. It, it, it gets to you mentally. I can tell you that personally. Ooh, I think he was crossing it, but no one, no one was there to. To haul in that cross, so it's going to go out of bounds, and that's what we called a good old power over accuracy play, right there. <laughs> Just grip it, grip it, and rip it, right there. We got a whistle. I'm not sure what it, what it was for. Uh, I guess there was a fault on the throw in, and so it's going to be the Bobcats to throw it in. This referee really likes his whistle, Jake. Yeah, he's uh, he's been pretty strict uh, strict uh, so far. Definitely not letting anything slide. Let's see if it'll change later on the game. And this one goes out of bounds. Bulldogs to uh, throw it in. Trying to switch the field. Shot is up, and it's going to go right of the right of the net, and that's going to be out of bounds. Goal kick once again for the Bulldogs. Bobcats holding possession. Good pass. Someone just needs to make the run. There it is. Ooh. 
Good job cutting that off by the Bulldogs. Shot is up. Off the goalkeeper. And he saves it from going in just barely. What a play by the goalie. Are they? Oh, they, are they going to say? Oh, they're going to say that was a goal. They're going to say it crossed oh, the line. It to him. Okay. They're going to say that crossed the line. From this angle we have here, I thought he saved it, but I'm not right up on it. I, I thought it. Uh, does the ball have to go all the way across the line, or does it just have to barely cross it? If it just barely crosses, it'll count. But it then has to I, I think it barely crossed it. I, I didn't know, if, but it kind of. I could have seen it go either way. It was tough. To, it's tough to tell from all the way up here. Right. That is a prime example right there why you always need to follow your shots. be a foul on the Bobcats. Bulldog, Bulldogs ball. Free kick for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs trying to figure out where to go with it. Got the run, making inside, going line. Keep it holding possession here. And one player's getting fancy. Trying to shield him out and let the ball go out. They will call a foul on the Bobcats. Foul on the Bobcats, so it's going to be a kick from the goalkeeper here. Fix the score. Uh, the scoreboard. I'm not. I'm not. The the score is correct. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I had the score on the wrong side. <laughs> that's what. That's what I was. I was mistaken. That was my my mistake. It's been a long day, hasn't it? Jay? It has been a long day. I've been out here all day uh, broadcasting these soccer games with Natural State Sports, and we're having fun doing it. Though it's a great day. The rain stopped, and we got some beautiful soccer going on right as, now. As soon as this rain stopped, this uh, got a little muggy out here, but it still feels pretty nice. And it's a great day to watch some soccer in Arkansas. That's for sure goes out out behind the goal and that's going to be a goal goal kick for the keeper for the Bulldogs. Fighting for possession in midfield. Big hits going on. The Bulldogs seem to be getting a little bit more aggressive on defense. Bobcats holding for possession, getting it back to their keeper. Trying to set something up. So, foul on number eight for the Bobcats.
Or is that number two, Jake? I am blind. I didn't bring my glasses today. For no, that, this guy right here in the pink cleat. That's number two. It yeah, is. Yeah, definitely. I'm not gonna be able to call out names for y'all because I don't have my glasses. I apologize. Number two is Fran- uh, Francisco Tellez. I'm my my apologies if I'm pronouncing his last name incorrect. He's got some wicked cleats though. I like his cleats, Jake. That's. He's got some flair to him. He's definitely got a little bit of swagger. Definitely, and that's going to be a yellow card for the Bulldogs. As that was a lot of contact right there. That was a big tackle right there. That was uh, a lot of contact. Yeah, that was just he's letting his emotions get to him, Jake, and I, that's just unnecessary. You don't need that in football. Header up and almost in. Great job by the keeper to keep his eyes on it and grab hold of it. Big boot downfield. See if we can get a counter out of this. Ooh, that was a good pass right there to get around the opposition. Good, good pass in the middle, and he's going to take a shot, and it's going to go past the net, out of bounds. And so it's going to be a goal kick for the Bulldogs. You got subs for both teams coming in. Getting some new f- fresh legs on the pitch. Devin, uh, that was Devin Alvarez coming in for, coming in for the Bobcats. And Jaden uh, Mangana coming in for the Bulldogs. Out of bounds. Bulldogs to throw it in. Juan per- uh, Perez has been really impressing me with his ball control and, and, and movements with the ball. He's made, he's made some great touches so far here today. Jake, I was just informed that one of our listeners right now, it's his birthday, Destin Davis's birthday. Just want to shout out, say happy birthday, Destin. Happy birthday, Destin. And that goes out of bounds, and it's going to be and it's going to be a goal kick for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs have possession now. See what they can do with it. The Bobcats are doing a great job of just keeping the pressure on the Bulldogs. Anytime that they touch the ball, there there is a yes. there is a Bobcat ready to uh, to battle them. Yeah, they're staying right in front of them, staying in their face, not letting them get those easy passes. got a lot of trust in their goalkeeper. Good flick. That's going to be a foul on the Bobcats, and that's going to be a, a free free kick awarded to the, uh, the Bulldogs.
that's going to be that's going to be it. That's going to be a yellow card. That's going to be a yellow card on one of the Bulldogs. I'm not. I didn't see who it was on. Goalie asking him to push you up, wanting a big kick here. Or it was just a distraction. Good first touch. Oh, just a little bit too, too far, and it goes out of bounds. Bulldogs will throw it in. I'm really impressed with this number 11 on the Bobcats right now. I feel like he's orchestrating this whole offense, controlling the defense. He's making all the right moves. That's Jesus Monroy. It's going to roll out of bounds. It's going to be a throw in for the Bobcats. Bobcats again making another, uh, subbing another player in. Great pass. Shots off target. It's going to go out of bounds for a goal, uh, a goal kick for the Bulldogs keeper. So with under, under 10 minutes to go in this first half, Bobcats lead it 2-0. Bulldogs are, are keeping up defensively. They're playing some pretty good defense. And may and giving the Bobcats some some trouble. They're just gonna have to get it together uh, on the offensive side of the pitch and see if they can't put something together. David, I was I called the Clarksville game earlier on today. They they were a very impressive team to uh, to watch. I, I haven't seen too much of Robinson this year, but it's going to be it would be I would be very surprised if Robinson came away with a win against Clarksville. That uh, Clarksville looked very impressive. What was the score to that? Wasn't it like 8-0 or 8-1? 8-1 one against uh who I'm trying to remember who they were. They were playing the the Eagles, the CrossFit Eagles. That's a uh, that's a butt whooping, Jake. That was a be a bad day in soccer. Good job playing it outside. And it's gonna go out of bounds. Off a of bulldog, so it's going to be a corner kick for the Bobcats. Corner kick comes across. Nice header right there from the Bobcats, but it's going to go over the top bar and out of bounds. Got to see the ball be the ball, Jake. Got to see the ball be the see ball. See the ball be the ball. It's 
give me a bobcat throw in. So that was a faulty throw in right there. So it's going to be Bulldogs to throw it in now. It's going to be out of bounds off the Bobcats. Bulldog to, uh, Bulldogs to throw it in. Sub being made for the Bobcats now. Getting some fresh legs in there. Oh, this one on one here. Kenny, oh, he got a touch on it right before the goalkeeper slid into it, but it was too hard, and it goes out of bounds, and that's going to be a goal kick for the Bulldogs keeper. It's a little bit too much of a touch, that second touch there, but it's a great look. Good job to cut that pass off. Good stop. The ref is letting a lot play right now. That was a powerful shot right there that was body blocked by a bobcat. Trying to beat him down the sideline. It's going to go out of bounds. Out of bounds. It's going to be a Bobcat throw in, I believe. I think they might, the ref might have a talk here. And he's telling him to cut it out. Let's calm down. Let's play smart football. A lot of fans aren't happy with that play. Great pass. See if he out. can keep it from going out, and he does. But he runs into an, he runs into a side uh, side judge, and it's gonna go out of bounds. Bobcats to throw it in. Shot Good on luck. goal. Man, that was a great stop by the goalie. Their keeper is just has impressed me all this whole entire first half. He's got some great awareness, that's for sure, Jake. Looks like another sub. Another substitution for the Bobcats.
Corner kick comes across, and it's in the back of the net as the Bobcats get another get another goal on the board with just 90 seconds left to go in this first half. Ole, 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 ole. It was it was bound to happen. They've been getting a lot of shots on goal and and playing really smart football so far here today, and it's paying off for them. And we're back underway. 90 seconds left to go in the first half. Bobcats applying pressure early. He's going to drop it back, slow it down. Nice pass. Woo! Ooh, nice touch. Footwork. Oh! oh! Off the bar. Off the bar. That was a tough, tough shot right there. Oh, and it was a second good look, too. Just went wide right. They've had some great looks uh, so far here today. That was Francisco uh, Telez who, who, got that, who got that first shot away and hit the crossbar. That was a really good look, Jake. I liked that. That was good football. Thought that one was going to go through the goalpost there for a second. You know, my old high school coach used to tell me 90% of the goals go under the crossbar. <laughs> And that's going to be the end of our first half of play. Score is 3-0 Bobcats over the Bulldogs. We're going to take a short break, and when we come back, it'll be time for our second half of play. One of the many things I love about working at PCSSD is the colleagues that I work with. One of the things that I love about working for this district is being seen. I don't have to know everything, and if I need to have somebody to collaborate with, I can always reach out to somebody, and I know I'll be able to help. I truly feel that the district cherishes me, and that inspires me to be the best educator I can be. The reason why I love PCSSD is because we have AVID. We use AVID to add value to our students' lives and to create opportunities post high school. I love working in PCSSD because it truly feels like a family that cares. Our diversity of the population is amazing. My colleagues are true professionals and the administration has always had my back when I ask for help. This place rocks. I love working for Pulaski County Special School District because of how well everyone works together to ensure that our students grow and thrive. What I love most about teaching is empowering students to believe in themselves. They have incredible creativity and I like drawing that out and helping them to see what they already possess. And don't forget, la vida es mejor con dos idiomas. Candles on the nights, the lights ain't work. Uh, we ain't never going back to dead and dead. I merch. Uh, turn your back on me, the worst mistake you ever make. Uh, keep my grass cut, gotta watch out for the snakes. Uh, if it's on my plate, best believe it's getting eight. I'm falling like I'm Kobe 33 before the eight. Uh, I just want the rings and the medals and the trophies. Uh, I want the Kardashians and Genesis on me. I want to take an Uber to the hills to visit Chloe. I want the floor seats because I'm tired of the no sleep. When the game on the line, you can't fold and you can't be. 
safe and I be going for the win. Remember back when they was doubting on the kid. Uh, now they tuned in cause my game too legit. I feel like I'm Scotty Pippen. Putting on the work but they don't give me no recognition. Basically the league's MVP but the peers missing. I'm the most valuable but sometimes they tend to forget it. I live my life on the edge but my back against the wall. I make sure my shoes left cause who gon' catch me if I fall against the odds but I'ma beat them all. I used to have a lot of friends. I never thought my day one circle be this small but who needs love if it's fake love? I'm trying to shine like the diamonds on my glove. Get in my way and you gon' feel it just like Mike's glove. I'm trying to go from burnt rugs to the red rugs. That's facts. When the game on the line, you can't fold and you can't bend. Uh, y'all be playing it safe and I be going for the win. Remember back when they was doubting on the kid. Uh, now they tuned in cause my game too legit. Who gon' stop me now? I'm on a roll, let me know who gon' stop me now. Uh, who gon' stop me now? Uh, who gon' stop me now? I'm on the roll, let me know who gon' stop me now. Gang, gang. When the game on the line, you can't fold and you can't bend. Uh, y'all be playing it safe and I be going for the win. Remember back when they was doubting on the kid. Uh, now they tuned in cause my game too legit. When the game on the line, you can't fold and you can't bend. Uh, y'all be playing it safe and I be going for the win. Remember back when they was doubting on the kid. Uh, now they tuned in cause my game too legit.
What I love most about PCSSD would be the people in our district work really hard for students. Their commitment is unmatched, and I love going in and out of school seeing the work that's being done. I love working in PCSSD because of our district's commitment to equity, excellence, and diversity for students and staff. It's a great place to be seen for who you are. My favorite thing about teaching for PCSSD is starting our day with a read aloud. I love being able to build foundational skills, introduce new vocabulary, and provide a model of fluent, expressive reading. One of the many things that I love about working in PCSSD is seeing the passion our staff has for ensuring our students' success in the classroom and in life. We all come from different backgrounds, but we're here for the same purpose. I couldn't ask for a more fulfilling career. Welcome back to the 4A state tournament here when we have the uh, where we have the Berryville Bobcats versus the Star City Bulldogs. We're about to get this second half underway. At the start of the second half, the Bobcats lead it 3-0. Bobcats lead it 3-0 and they've been They've been dominating the time of possession so far in this uh, in this matchup, and they've really been in control so far. Let's see what adjustments the, the Bulldogs make, and they might come out and see a new team out here in the second half. Bulldogs fighting for it so far, but it's going to go out of bounds, and they're going to say it went off of a Bobcat, so it's going to be a Bulldog throw in. Looks like it might be a free kick, Jake. Oh, it is a free kick. Appreciate everybody tuning in to this broadcast that's brought to you by Natural State Sports. We're... Really excited to be calling this final 4A state uh, state tournament game here here uh, at Mills. That's going to be a high kick. So free kick. Bobcats might have a shot right here. Bobcats shut it down, though. And it's going to go out of bounds for a Bobcat throw-in. Bobcats keeping possession. Passing it around. Oh, 
I really like the game plan that the Bobcats have come out, uh, come out using so far in this in this matchup. It's it's wor it's worked very effectively for them. Yeah, it seems like they're getting a lot more passes. Than Goalie in no hurry to bring it out. You know, it, it, it's it's a similar thing when it comes to basketball. The completed passes, more the more passes you have, the more uh, it, it a lot of times it leads to more goals or more more buckets when it in basketball terms. Your success rate, yeah, definitely increases. Ooh, they're going to call a handball there. It's going to be a handball and free kick for the Bulldogs. Be a push in the back right there. Number eight. It's going to be a free kick for the Bulldogs. That was number six. I'd like to say it again. I don't have my glasses. I'm <laughs> blind. Pedro Flores. It's a good thing I'm not officiating this game, Jake. Why is that? Because I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, that was a nice shot right there for the Bulldogs. That might have been their first shot on goal all uh, this whole entire game. Yeah, that had a lot of power behind it. That ball goes out of bounds for a Bobcat throw in. Appreciate everybody tuned in. Love to see the comments in the chat. Oh, they might have a shot at it here. And the keeper for the Bulldogs slides in and snatches it away. And now he is going to boot it up Big the pitch. Boot. Goes over the defense's head. And that one's going to go out of bounds. Bulldogs to throw it in. Quick throw. Open Ooh. look. Ooh. That was a nice shot right there. That was a good look right there for Andreas Her uh, Heredia for the Bulldogs. Oh, that one goes just outside of the net, out of bounds for a goal, uh, a goal kick for the Bulldogs keeper. Really impressed with the Bobcats right there, how he followed through on that play. A lot of people would give up, but he pushed through, and he almost made something happen right there. The goal kick is going to go out of bounds, and it's going to be uh, it's going to be thrown in for the Bobcats. This time, it's going to go off the Bobcats, thrown for the Bulldogs. Seen a little bit more life out of the Bulldogs so far here in this second half. Two shots on goal already, and they seem to be passing it uh, a little bit better. Yeah, I think they're starting to take a little bit more control of this game. That was a good touch right there. It's starting to get aggressive out on the pitch. Shielding him off. I think they called an offsides right there. I think the defense.
defense has been a little too aggressive. Oh, that's what, oh, so that's what it was. They called a. Yeah, you can't be throwing, pushing too much when you're trying to shield the ball. It's foul on the Bulldogs. Just going to lead to a Bobcats free kick right here, and they're probably going to take a shot at the goal right here. The way they've been shooting, I think it'd be crazy not to, Jig. I'm excited to see this. I think that's his taking the shot here is going to be Juan Perez. Ooh, and he tried to sneak one in. Again, it's Perez now. Maybe trying to get across here. He does. Good cross. Oh, that was, that was right on target there. Just hey, He just couldn't complete it into the net. It's going to go out of bounds, and Bobcats are throwing it in. That one's going to go out of bounds, and that's going to be a goal kick for the Bulldogs' keeper. Thirty minutes and fifty seconds left in the second half. Great, great clear right there for the Bobcats to get it out of their territory. We might have a man down. So that's going to be a, a foul. I believe it was on the Bulldogs. So we're going to get a free kick here. Attempting the free kick is going to be Jesus Monroy for the Bobcats. Jesus is the guy that made their first goal, Jake. He's the one that had the deep shot earlier. Let's see if he goes for goal. That was a good shot there. But as we've seen so far, the Bulldogs keeper is, is very talented and it's gonna take uh, it's gonna take another snipe like he had earlier to get it past him. You know what they called there? I don't know. Uh, I well, it hit uh, when he when he was trying to pass it. It, it went off the uh, the official. It hit his back, so I think maybe he I, – I, I wasn't sure what the call was. I just figured maybe he stopped play to kind of let them get set again since it hit him. I wasn't sure, though. Yeah, I didn't know if it was a handball. I didn't see it. So, big throw from the Bobcats keeper. It's a good look for the Bulldogs. Good clear for the Bobcats as they get it to the other side of the field. It's going to go out of bounds, and that's going to be a Bulldog throw in. So it's gonna be a free kick here for the for the Bulldogs. And the 
keeper for the Bobcats is going to pick it up and boot it away. Fighting for possession. Let's see who comes away with it. Applying a tremendous amount of pressure to the Bobcats. Man, if I'm a coach, I love to see that hustle right there. I mean, he's not giving up on the play. Try to get a touch on there, but the Bobcats uh, steal it away. He's gotten very tight with his calls. Going to try to float one over the defense's head. It's not going to phase the goalkeeper. Bulldogs to throw it in around midfield. Big collision. It's yeah. knocked out of bounds by the uh, by the Bulldogs, so it's going to be a Bobcats throw in deep in uh, Bulldog territory. Cross it in the middle. Might have a shot here. Ooh, defender lucky to get in the way there. Perez fighting to get that ball back, and he ends up winning it, and the Bobcats are now in, back in possession. The Bulldogs have came alive this second half, Jake. No, they have. They've been playing a lot better this, this second half than they were in the first. A lot more intensity uh, on the offensive side of the ball and uh, great intensity on the defensive side of the ball. I think the Bobcats here, they need to slow it back down and go back to first half, how they made them short passes, swing the ball around, maintain possession. Uh, we're just not seeing as much of that in this second half. Throw in Bobcats. Bobcats swinging it down the left pitch. Open look just over the bar. Over the bar, out of bounds for a goal, uh, goal kick for the keeper, for the Bulldogs. We're almost halfway through this second half of play. Score is 3-0, Bobcats. Bulldogs trying to fight their way back in, back into this into this matchup. You're starting to not see as much pressure right now, Jake. I wonder if it's the conditioning of running, you know, 60 minutes, if it's starting to get to the teams. It wouldn't surprise me. Uh, I haven't. I don't think we we've seen a, a substitution. I know we haven't seen a substitution for the Bobcats this half. I, I'm not sure if I've seen one for the uh, for the Bulldogs either. Up, up, up. 
Shot. Whew. I thought that one was going to go in there for a second. It's going to go out of bounds as the keeper for the Bulldogs is going to take the kick. That was a good look by number 11 for the Bobcats. That was Jesus Monroy. He was the one that got the snipe earlier. Mm -hmm. Bobcats come away with it. It's going to be knocked out of bounds by the Bulldogs. Throw in for the Bobcats. This one's going to go to the left, to the left of the net, and it's going to be another goal kick for the Bulldogs keeper. Bobcats doing a great job keeping it on this side of the field. I feel like it's been on this side of the field for for about five five minutes plus now. Yeah, they're definitely controlling the ball the majority of this half. Now it's going to go out of bounds. Another goal kick for the Bulldogs keeper. Nineteen minutes and forty two seconds left in the second half. The Bulldogs have it at midfield. That was a close one. Good look, but goalkeeper happened to get there first. Beautiful pass to the right wing. See what the Bobcats can do here. Nice touch from Perez. And it's see if they can keep it from going out, and they do. He did a really good job there getting around that defender. He did. They're just going to swing it around, open up the field, play possession, wind this clock down. Having a lot of faith in their goalkeeper, the Bobcats. He is definitely pretty far away from the box right now. Going to go out of bounds off the Bulldogs. Bobcats to throw it in. The 
Bobcats are just going to play it back to their goalkeeper. Really just opening it up, trying to, just like you said earlier, wind down this clock. Hey, there's no real reason for them to get too fancy and just burn this clock and go on to the next round. Oh, nice pass oh. from Perez. And let's see, let's see if hey, Zeus Monroy can get it in. He can't. It's going to go out of bounds off the Bulldogs, but that's going to lead to a corner kick for the Bobcats. It's another great stop for the goalkeeper, the Bulldogs. Good job to the Bulldogs for stopping that and maintaining possession. Very quickly a transition to offense. Big boot down the pitch. Fighting over possession at midfield. Bobcats maintain possession. Look over the top, and the Bulldogs goalkeeper maintains possession. Fighting for it, and Perez is going to come away with it for the Bobcats, and he gets it back to his goalkeeper. I've got a feeling we're going to see a goal soon, Jake. It's swinging back and forth between both goalkeepers. Someone's going to get lucky here in a minute and put one in the net. Oh, might see a shot here. Good opening. So it's going to be a corner kick now for the Bobcats as it went off a bulldog out of bounds. Justin, we see you checking in here. Yeah, they're they've been. Scoring. Oh, and that's a goal for the Bobcats as as Juan Perez scores once again. That's his second goal of the game. What a great shot right there! They finally get one in the back of the net after so many shots on goal. It feels like it. Uh, they've been really working towards that uh, that uh, that goal for this whole second half. Substitution for the Bobcats. That left wing you were talking about, Justin, just got switched out. Good stop by the Bobcats. Quick counter. Slicing and dicing. And that's going to be – he touched He touched the ball first, but it, it was close, I think. Yeah, I think that was a clean tackle, Jake. I'm glad with the official's decision there.
Bobcat swinging it down that left field, just couldn't maintain the touch. Might have a shot on goal here. Yep. Oh, oh off, off the, the bar. Off the top bar. He got so excited in that situation, he wanted to hit it real hard when he just needed the tap. Oh, that's uh, a rough one. I'm sure he's going to be regretting that. He'll be thinking, uh, thinking about that one later on tonight, I'm sure. Corner kick from the Bulldogs. And. What a great snag was, by the goalkeeper. They're going to say that one wasn't in. What a snag from the goalkeeper for the Bobcats. That's That was close. That, that was so close. Great awareness. The Bulldogs seem like they're coming to life. The head coach, The head coach for the Bulldogs were not happy about that one. So it's going to be a Bobcats throw in. I'm really glad I'm not the official there having to make the call on that goal line. Me too. That, that was super close. So that's going to be a yellow card on a, on a on a Bulldog player. Is that his second one or? No, okay. They're sending a sub in for him. Because, you know, in soccer, two yellows is a soft red, and you're playing a man down. Oh, that one of the Bulldogs players, was he did not like what he said right there, so that might lead to another... That might lead to another uh, to another card. With him. Ref trying to calm this game down. A lot of emotions in it. Neither team's ready to go home just yet. Big throw in for the Bobcats. And it's the Bulldogs get it right back to their keeper. Ooh, just a little too hard of a touch, but great look. Levin's got the ball again. Let's see if he's going to take a shot. Nice touch Ooh. there. Great pass. Switching it around. Uh, 
That one's going to go out. Goal kick for the Bulldogs keeper. I can see 11 for the Bobcats being a big threat to other teams later on in this tournament. I mean, he just seems he's making all the right decisions. I'm really happy with how he's been playing, Jake. Absolutely. The winner the winner of this of this match will go on to play the winner of the Nashville Scrappers and the Brooklyn Bearcats, who are in overtime, tied 2-2. And that's gonna be that was a that was a tough tackle right there. See if a card comes out, and it and there is. It's a yellow card. That's his second one. No, that's not okay. the that's not the same, not the same player. Oh, that was a second. They just said that was his second yellow. I thought that's what they said. Oh, well, they shouldn't be sending another guy back on, Jake. Maybe they said that's the se that's the team's second yellow or something. Yeah, I really hope the Bulldogs can get back down to normal and calm third, down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so that's the team's third yellow. He corrected himself. So, free direct kick here for the Bobcats. See if he's going to go over the wall or try to slot it in for a pass. Taking it up the lo up, up the sideline. Great touch. Oh, getting it across the middle. The keeper falls on it. That was a close. That was very close right there for the Bulldogs. And the uh, Bobcats almost made him pay. The time for the game tomorrow will be at 4 p.m. Uh, at Robinson. Uh, uh, Brian, the, the time for the game tomorrow is going to be at 4 p.m. And that, the Nash, like I was saying earlier, the Brooklyn Bearcats and the Nashville Scrappers are tied 2-2 right now in, in OT. So, so that winner has yet to be decided. Jesus. I think they're starting to drain down the Bulldogs, and the Bulldogs are just starting to play a little bit sloppy defense. This one's going to go out off the Bobcats, and it's going to be a Bulldog throw in. It's going to be a substitution for the Bulldogs. Down to seven minutes and 20 seconds left in the game here. And it's going to go, going to go out off the Bobcats. Bulldogs throwing it in now. So with under seven minutes left to play in this second half, Bobcats lead it 4-0. Great pass up the line. See if he's going to send it. He gets it into the middle. The Bulldogs are going to come away with it. Out of bounds off the Bobcats. Bulldogs to throw it in.
It'll be out of bounds on the Bobcats. Bulldogs throw in. Quick throw in. High up off a of Bulldog's foot. And the uh, Bobcats going to knock it out. It's going to be a Bulldog throw in once again. Now Bob the Bob steal it. Bulldogs looking for the through ball and just sending it up and over, see if they can come down with it. Bobcats advancing. It shut down quick on that look. And that's going to be a penalty. See if he pulls out a card. That's going to be a free direct kick for the Bobcats. Bulldogs are trying to put some pressure on, trying to get one one goal on the board before the end of this game, with just under with just Ooh. two minutes and thirty seconds left to go. That was a great pass. If I'm coach right now, I'm looking at my subs. You can see people right now; they're exhausted. You got guys standing there. Uh, you really need to get some fresh legs on this field right now and to give yourself a chance. This one's going to roll out and be a goal kick for the Bulldogs keeper. We're going to have three subs coming onto the field for the Bulldogs and one sub. Yeah, this is where fresh legs matters, Jake. Bobcats driving down the field. Surprising we didn't see a whistle there. It rolls out of bounds. And it's going to be a Bobcat throw in. So 
now there's 60 seconds left to go in this second half. And they're stopping the clock for another substitution. And we're underway. Big throw in. So the Berryville Bobcats lead it 4-0 over the Star City Bulldogs. 45 seconds left to go in this second half. I think it's just going to wind down here, Jake. That's going to be a free direct kick here for the Bulldogs. Probably the last set piece of the game. That's a big kick. And it goes wide, out of bounds. Or a goal kick from the Berryville keeper. And the ball rolls out of bounds. I think that's just about to do it. And that's how, that's how it will end. That's going to be the end of this 4A state tournament ball game. The Berryville Bobcats are going to take the victory over the Star City Board uh, Bulldogs 4-0. I appreciate everyone that tuned into this ball game here, to, uh, here today. Make sure you tune into the, the rest of the 4A state tournament ball games going on tomorrow. There will be at Robinson at Boxite. Appreciate everybody tuning in, and thank you for watching.